Hey guys, welcome to your first uh, Year 12 Maths A lesson. Uh, you must be pretty excited to be in Year 12. Um, in the Year 12 Maths A course, uh, there is a lot of stuff on investing your money uh, or finance. And I think it's pretty cool because it's very practical uh, kind of maths that you will need to know. Um, especially when you have a lot of money in the future which you will from uh, earning money in your jobs you sort of need to know what to do with your money right um, you're not just gonna leave it around in your house so the first thing we want to talk about is what happens when you save your money in the bank uh, under a term deposit arrangement so Actually, let me just pause that. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is interest? Well, uh, let me use the simplest example. Most of you should already have saved some money in a bank. Now, when you save money in a bank, uh, you are actually lending money to the bank. Or you could say that the bank is borrowing money from you. And what that means is you should be paid interest. Uh, so the bank should be paying you money for uh, borrowing that money from you. Uh, so uh, interest, I guess you can think of as the fee that somebody pays for borrowing money from someone else. Uh, so when you are saving money in the bank, the bank is borrowing money from you. Uh, you could also borrow money from the bank. So if you borrow money from the bank, if you borrow money from the bank, then you will be paying bank the bank the interest. You will be paying bank the bank uh, interest for borrowing this money. Um, now the same thing. Uh, happens with uh, what we call uh, bonds and debentures. So whenever you see the word debentures or bonds, um, <clears throat> the situation is usually that the bank, the company or the government is borrowing money from you. So when you buy debentures or bonds from a company, this means the company is borrowing money from you, hence they will have to pay you interest. Uh, hence they will have to pay you interest. Now in these situations, these interests that we're dealing with is usually simple interest. So let's talk about what simple interest is. So simple interest means the interest is paid on the original sum of money invested. You're probably not sure what that means. So I'm just going to illustrate that to you using an example. So let's have a look at this example. John invests $3,000 in a term deposit for two years. So all that means is John saves $3,000 in the bank and John has to leave it in there for two years and not touch the money. The bank offered 6% per annum interest paid each year. So the bank is going to pay John 6% of $3,000 every year for two years. Calculate the total amount of money John would receive at the end of the investment. So the concept of simple interest is that the 6% is calculated from the $3,000 only. Um, you will see uh, a different kind of interest called compound interest which will be different to this and uh, we'll explain that later but for now the 6% is only calculated from the $3,000 so uh, if we don't have a formula to do this, I will just show you how to do it manually um, without using a formula. So 
you will need to know obviously how to find 6% of 3000 so 6% of $3,000 is just um, 3000 times 6 out of 100 right because that's what 6% is 6 over 100 so putting that in the calculator So 3,000 times 6 divided by 100, the answer is 180. So the answer is $180. And that's how much John is going to get from the bank uh, interest in interest per year. So that's what per annum means. Per annum just means per year. Per year. Okay, so now notice how John saves the money in there for two years. So 180 times 2 is $360 interest for two years. So how much money would John receive at the end of the investment? So end of investment, he will get um, the $360 plus how much money he invested in the beginning back from the bank. So at the end of his investment, he will receive back from the bank $3,360. Uh, will be received will be received at the end of the investment now that's quite a lot of thinking for you to do so uh, fortunately in maths A we like to keep everything simple so we give you a formula for input for simple interest which you can just memorize and do all these kinds of problems that talk about simple interest uh, uh, so pretty much when you see term deposit or simple interest then you just write out this formula and then you substitute the correct numbers into the formula and you get the answer straight away so what do you have to substitute into the formula well firstly uh, P is the principal and principal just means amount of money invested amount of money invested uh, initially so in our case it's uh, $3,000 Right, the R is the rate of interest per period. And you'll see what period is in a second. Uh, but for now, the rate of interest is uh, 6%. And T is the number of periods. So uh, you can see that right now we're talking about years. So T is just going to be two years. Uh, so in this question here, per period just means per year. And number of periods just means number of years. Um, so PRT over 100, so it's 3,000 times 6 times 2 over 100. And if you type that in the calculator, you get $360 of interest. So that is sort of the quick way of doing it. Uh, it might seem longer to you at first, but because um, once you memorize the formula, you have you don't have to do as much thinking so it's actually quicker now at the end of the investment uh, it'll be uh, P 
plus I gives you A which is the amount uh, received at the end of the investment so that's what A is and we have uh, P is 3000 I is 360 so therefore A is equal to 3360 so that's how you use the simple interest formula and uh, every year as you can see uh, you get a hundred and eighty dollars and then two years is three hundred and sixty dollars uh, so it's pretty simple that's why it's called simple interest so let's have a look at this example Janet buys fifty thousand dollars worth of debentures in the company she earns 8% per annum simple interest. If the agreed period of the debenture was 18 months, calculate the total of money Janet will receive at the end of the investment. Now, I guess one thing I should mention is when you buy debentures in real life, if the company goes bankrupt, uh, then there is a possibility that you could lose your money. Uh, but yeah, assuming the company does not go bankrupt, then uh, you should uh, get the money back, get your principal back. So uh, I equals PRT over 100. So that's the first thing you write down as soon as you get a simple interest problem. And then what you write down is what P equals, R equals, and T equals. Uh, so P is the principal and it equals uh, $50,000 right, that's how much money you borrow in the beginning R is the rate, interest rate and it's uh, 8% and T is uh, the time period and uh, notice uh, we, the question gives you 18 months but we have the interest rate in 8% per annum per year so we really want the time period in years so time is going to be number of years so 18 months now how many months are there in one year 12 so 18 out of 12 is 1.5 years And let's put all that in the calculator. So 50,000 times 8 times 1.5 over 100 is $6,000. And the total amount that Janet receives at the end will be I plus P. So that'll be uh, 6,000 plus the principal which is 50,000 uh, which will be uh, 56,000 at the end of the uh, investment period which is 18 months received at the end of the investment period uh, assuming the company doesn't go bankrupt um, <clears throat> okay so uh, thank you for watching the first tutorial on simple interests uh, see you next time